read its Oracle database bands. This is Justin, and in this Oracle database YouTube video tutorial, I'm going to discuss the keep until RMAN retention policy method. Now, RMAN stands for Recovery Manager, and it's been around since Oracle database version 8i or so. RMAN is known as Server Managed Backup and Recovery, and the reason why it, it's known as this is because RMAN is what we call Oracle Aware. RMAN connects is a utility that comes with the Oracle database software, and it connects to an Oracle database in a client's, um, the same way any client server uh, model software in Oracle connects. So, um, it connects the same way SQL Plus, for instance, would connect to an Oracle database. Okay, RMAN, the RMAN program is the client utility, and the Oracle database server is the uh, server uh, program. Okay, and because RMAN is Oracle aware and it connects to an Oracle database, RMAN knows what an Oracle uh, data block is and knows what an extent is, and what a segment is, and what a table space is, and what a table is, what a view is, what a data file is. Okay, so RMAN is aware of the logical components of an Oracle database. And because of this, Oracle RMAN can do some pretty neat things when it comes to uh, managing Oracle database backups. Now, one of the things that RMAN can do when it comes to Oracle backups is it can manage your retention policies of your backups. Now, what is a retention policy in regards to backups? Well, a retention policy is how long you retain, you keep a backup. Okay. Now, some uh, financial firms in the United States today are required by law to keep their data for a minimum of seven years. Okay. Now, whether you're keeping data due to a legal um, edict or you're, or you're um, keeping data due to an internal, internal corporate SLA edict, which stands for service level agreement, where an executive or another group, business group in your company, needs their data kept for a certain amount of time. Okay, um, RMAN is definitely the best is the best utility to use for Oracle Database because RMAN offers three ways to manage retention of backups. Okay, these three methods are as follows. There's first a redundancy method, which is the default method for for RMAN. Then there's the recovery window method, which is the most popular. And then the third is the keep until method, which is discussed in this video. Now, if you want to learn more about, about the redundancy or the recovery window method, uh, check out those videos on my YouTube um, channel, Oracle channel, the same uh, channel that you got this video from. Okay? But this video focuses on keep until. So, to review, Oracle, uh, our man um, manages Oracle database uh, retention policies using three methods, the redundancy, recovery window, and the keep until time window. Now, why is keep until time um, a, neat, a neat, uh, neat feature? Well, let's, let's throw a scenario. Let's say that your recovery window is set, you have a recovery window retention policy set to 30 days, well, 31 days, okay, one month. That means that no matter when you, you what day it is, you'll always be able to recover the database at any point in time within the past 30 days, within the past month, okay? And let's say, that that's your default retention policy. Now let's say that you uh, that the company now required there's an SLA corporate SLA that says that you must keep you must run a, uh, a monthly backup on the first of every month and you must keep that backup for seven years. Okay. Now what you can do is you can run your backups uh, for uh, for every, for every day during the month and your default retention recovery window of 30 days, your policy of 30 days. We'll keep those backups for a month. And then when you hit the first of each month, what you can do is you can run a backup database command in RMAN, but include a keep until clause that says to keep it for seven years. Okay? And that's done in days. Okay? And that will ensure that that backup overrides the default retention policy window. And that, de and that default backup will be the only one that's kept for seven years. So keep until time is a way to override your default recovery window set in. Uh, retention setting, and uh, you can um, keep that one-off backup for as long as you need to, okay? So I guess the best way to show you is to give you an example. Now, um, this is a Microsoft Windows 7 Lenovo laptop, and it is run an Oracle database version 11.2, Enterprise Edition, and there's an Oracle database called Finance, F-I-N-A-N-C-E, running on the system. Now, the database is in archive log mode, and uh, I do have two, um, two RMAN settings uh, configured that I set prior to recording this video. Uh, the first one is the re default recovery window is set to three days. So we're using the recovery window retention policy method. 
and my auto backup of the control file is enabled. And I enable this because it's uh, it's recommended. So let's go ahead and set our Oracle SID to finance, and let's make sure we're set properly. Uh, the, we're going to do a backup using the hypothetical week, and our week starts December 1st, 2011. So this is the current date according to my machine. So let's log in with RMAN, and we're going to do target slash. Target in RMAN terminology means the Oracle database that you backup, recover, or restore. Okay, and we, we'll see that we're connected to our finance database. Now if we type in a show all, which displays the RMAN persistence settings we currently have configured, we will see that we have two settings which are not the default that I just told you about. Uh, configure retention policy to recovery window of three days. So we're using the recovery window retention policy method, and it's set to three days. And configure control file auto backup is enabled on. So with those two settings in place and everything else I discussed fresh in your mind, we're going to go ahead and we're going to kick off our first backup in our little hypothetical week. Now keep in mind, it's December 1st, 2011 in this video. So Backup, database, keep until time, state plus seven. Let's dissect this command for a second, shall we? The backup database command is your uh, regular RMAN command, which backs up the database it's connected to, the target database. And keep until time call says, for this backup only, I want you to keep until seven days from today. Okay, and it's December 1st, so seven days from today will be December 8th. Now, sysdate is an internal Oracle database function which says, show me the date of the server that, that this database is running on. Okay, so it's going to show you, sysdate function, you could also use that in SQL Plus, is going to show you that, to, is going to tell our man that it's December 1st and to add seven days to that, and that's going to be the recovery window, even though the default retention policy says that it should be kept for three days. So we hit enter there, and we let our backup run for December 1st. Backup complete. Now, you'll notice in the backup output, um, this output here, it says backup will be obsolete on date December 8th, 2011. Now, this is not typical with a regular backup database command. Okay, this is only put here. Our man feels compelled to say this because it's because you're overriding the default retention policy. If we didn't have this keep until calls, it, um, our man would just assume and it would keep it for three days. Okay. But this backup, the seven-day retention policy applies. And then under that, we have archive logs required to recover from this backup will be backed up. So you don't have to worry about doing a plus archive log. Okay, so our backup's completed, which will be obsolete December 8th. So now if we do a report obsolete, we will see that no backups are considered obsolete for today. This backup summary, and we will see we have four backup pieces for December 1st. One, two, three, four. So now, let's go ahead and let's change our date to December 2nd. Connect via Armin, and let's kick off the, the backup that we would usually kick off. Backup database plus archive log. It's December 2nd, as you can see in the uh, backup output. Now, the three-day retention policy, since that's the default, is going to apply to this backup. Now we do a report obsolete. And we'll see that uh, using the default retention policy of three days to this on this command, nothing is considered obsolete yet. We do list backup summary. We will see we have our four backup pieces from the first and four backup pieces from the second. Now we're going to change our date to 1203, 2011. And we're going to run another backup. Backup database plus archive log. And we will see December 3rd in the backup output here. Okay, backup complete. Now when we do a report obsolete, we will see that, that still nothing is considered obsolete. And we do a list backup summary, we will see that we now have three backup pieces from the third. Now we're going to change our date in our hypothetical week to 1204. Next by RMAN. Backup database plus archive log. Yeah. 
we will see December 4th here in the backup output. Oh, and I forgot to mention, uh, notice that with these backups that we did subsequent to that keep until time, since we don't have a keep until time clause here, there was no special um, message from our man telling us when the backup will be obsolete because our man will uh, delete it on the third. I mean, we'll delete it in three days. Um, I don't know if I mentioned that or not. Oh, well, it's always going to mention that again. <laughs> Can't hurt. Report obsolete. And we will see that, again, here on the fourth, no backups are considered obsolete. When we do a list backup summary, you will see that we have four backup pieces for the fourth. Now, let's go to the fifth. Log in our man, and let's back up our database yet again. Backup database plus our archive log. And here's December 5th in our backup output. Now we type in report obsolete. We will now see that there are now backups that are ready to be uh, removed. But remember, you may be saying, well, wait a minute. Isn't the first going to be kept to the 8th? How come, how come backups from December 1st are eligible to be obsolete right now? Well, that's because our man doesn't only, um, uh, in regard to retention, does not only manage backups in regards to retention. It also manages archive logs. Okay. So these archive logs are no longer needed, so it deletes them. But there's no backups on the first. And as you can see, we do have backups on the second, which are now ready to be deleted. So we type in delete, no prompt, obsolete. Okay. This backup summary. And there's our four backups on the fifth. Now we'll go to the sixth. Back by our man. Backup database plus archive log. There's December 6th in the backup output. Now we type in report obsolete. And we will see that we have backups from the 2nd, which are now ready to be obsolete, and some archive logs from the 3rd, which are ready. Okay, so we type in delete, no prompt, obsolete. Now, let me show you how this is working. Go up to the top. You'll notice that we have all four backup pieces still intact from the first. One, two, three, four. The second is missing. Okay, the second backup is missing. Oh, and we only have three backups from the third. Okay, because the third is starting to be obsolete. Okay, so notice, even though we are currently, and then we have four backup pieces for all backups subsequent. Four for the sixth, the fifth, and the fourth. Now, even though we're in the sixth, and if you go back three days from the sixth, that means December, anything before December 3rd is going to start to be deleted, okay? And the first is certainly prior to December 3rd. The first is still intact. Four backup pieces. One, two, three, four. That's, and then we're missing the second. That's because the first is protected from the default recovery window retention policy clause, okay? Because we, um, we exempted from that doing the keep until time. So now, let's go ahead and let's go to the seventh. Connect via RMAN, and let's back up our database again. Okay, we type in report obsolete. And we will see that backups from... Uh, Backups control files. I mean, you see the control file, all the backup. That all the backups from the th all the backups from the third and archive logs from the fourth are starting to be obsolete. So we do delete, no prompt, obsolete. With backup summary. Okay, we'll go to the top, and we will see that we have all four backups still intact. One, two, three, four from the first. No backups from the second or the third. And in the fourth backups, there's only three of them are starting to be obsolete. But we still have four backups on the 5th, four backups on the 6th, and four backups on the 7th. Now, let's go to our magic date here, which is uh, December 8th. Okay, connect by RMAN, type in backup database, plus archive log. Now we'll do a report obsolete, 
Now you will see that the one, the backups on the first are now considered obsolete. Why? Because we finally hit that retention with the eighth. Remember, the Armin backup output from uh, the, from December first said that they'd be obsolete on the first, which they are. Okay. So now we can type in delete no prompt obsolete like so, and we can do list backup summary. And our backup output, and this output should look the way that we expect it to. Okay? Uh, three backups on the fifth, four backups on the sixth, four backups on the seventh, four backups on the eighth. Okay? And that's because we're currently in the eighth, and if we go back three days, the fifth is when things start to be obsolete, and that's what we see here. Only three, but I rest have four. And there's no backups on the first. Okay? That's how Keep Until works. And again, Keep Until allows you to override your default recovery uh, retention policy window or redundancy. All right. Thank you.